If you ever need to watch a movie that's so bad it's almost good, buckle up, Brainiacs. We've got one word, Piranha. Yep, that's the name of a movie. Actually, five of them. If the trilogy released in the late 70s through the mid 90s are not sufficient enough, then there's a 3DD movie made in 2012 that we heard is absolutely to die for. <laughs> Get it? Because, you know, piranhas eat people? Never mind. Actually, is that even true? How dangerous are they? And how many would it take to actually cause you legitimate harm? Let's start with some basics, shall we? Piranhas are a freshwater fish found in South American rivers, floodplains, lakes, and reservoirs. Although they are often described as extremely predatory, their dietary habits do include plant materials, which means they're technically omnivores. But of course, Hollywood doesn't want you to think that. They make all the big bucks as long as you believe that piranhas are bloodthirsty and vicious river monsters. Sure, they're not cute and cuddly, but much of their reputation is not exactly warranted. In fact, some experts believe that piranhas got their bad reputation from Teddy Roosevelt, a United States president back in 1913 when he was traveling to South America. In his book, Through the Brazilian Wilderness, he describes piranhas as the most ferocious fish in the world, capable of snapping a finger off incautiously if trailed through the water. He then goes on to recount a tale of a pack of piranhas devouring an entire cow. What we later found out is that Roosevelt's entire account was nothing other than pure spectacle. Apparently, the group of South American fishermen deprived these piranhas of food with knowledge that the president was coming to visit and made sure to give them a good performance. But I don't tell you that to make you think that piranhas are the most misunderstood animals in the animal kingdom. These guys will often resort to cannibalism if food gets scarce. So, where do these feisty fish get their choppers in the first place? In 1950, a scientist studying piranhas suggested that the common ancestor of the fish also has two rows of teeth, which eventually merged into the impressive single row piranhas have today. So exactly how dangerous are these little guys? According to the experts, like any other animal with teeth, so grizzlies, wolves, or sharks, piranhas will leave you alone if you leave them alone. But keep in mind that black and red-bellied piranhas are considered the most dangerous and aggressive towards humans. Nonetheless, many South American swimmers boast emerging from piranha-infested waters without a single scratch. The real danger comes when the water level is low and prey is scarce. Piranhas also seem to be attracted to noise, splashing, and of course, blood. To survive, these little guys actually have very good hearing. It's important that they catch the sound of fruits or nuts falling from a tree into the water, but every now and again, they are mistaken by a fisherman splashing around with food. And if you're injured, we suggest not taking your chances in piranha-infested waters, okay? You bet that they can smell a drop of blood in 200 liters of water because, yeah, you guessed it, it may signal to them that there's food nearby. So, could piranhas really turn you into a skeleton in a matter of minutes? Well, I hate to disappoint you, but this claim has no truth to it. For the most part, piranhas pose no threat to humans whatsoever. Truth be told, you're probably the bigger predator. Much of this Hollywood-esque behavior that you're accustomed to seeing in movies is most likely just the imagination running wild. But as I said, if the fish believe that you are either A, dangerous, or B, a walking and talking meal after days with no food, then you may catch yourself with a few scratches. Some other things that you can keep in mind if you ever find yourself in South America are to avoid swimming during the dry months of the Amazon, when water levels are low and wait until dark to cross infested waters. Piranhas are known to hunt during the day and sleep all through the night. Another tip is to avoid noise or the use of flashlights or lanterns as that could prompt them to attack. And if you ever have any reason to believe that you may be attacked by piranhas, then use a diversion to swim across safely. Carry a huge piece of raw meat and throw it in your opposite direction. That should get their attention. So go ahead, binge watch all the piranha movies and have a good laugh. Much of these films are not based on scientific fact, it's just old Hollywood having fun. And if you do find yourself in piranha infested waters, I suggest that you watch this video again for more information on these feisty fish. You're not exactly going to get lots of valuable information from the 3D movie anyways. Later Brainiacs. Thank <laughs> you.